Let's uh, let's fill in the table. There are twelve boys, and their average is seven. Um, so in fact, if we know how many there are and we know the average, then we can work out the sum. The sum is twelve times seven, which is eighty-four. Because if we think about it, um, the average is the sum of all the numbers divided by how many there are. Um, just working backwards. So that's why we can work the other way. Um, now let's put in some data for the rest of the class. Um, there are 28 girls. Altogether, that makes 40 students. We don't know the girls' average, but we do know the class average. So once again, we can work out the class sum. That's going to be 40 times 14. That's um, six, um, 14 plus 56, 560. Now, the girl's sum, this bit, that's going to be 560 minus 84, because obviously the boy's sum plus the girl's sum must equal the total. Right, so that's 476. And now we can work out the average, the girl's average. It's going to be 476 divided by 28. That's a bit of a tricky one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in two steps. I'm going to first divide by 7. Seven into forty-seven and five. Hang on a sec. Six. And after dividing it by seven, I'm going to divide it by four because what I wanted to do was divide it by twenty-eight altogether. So how many fours go in sixty-eight? That's Seventeen. So the answer is that the girl, the girl's average mark was seventeen.